Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a PostgreSQL server along with PG Admin Web Tool on Ubuntu hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed PostgreSQL and the PG Admin Web Tool. So simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, from this product page, simply click on accept terms and wait for the validation process to complete. Once the validation process is complete, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your AMI, your software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. So after changing the settings according to your requirements, simply click on continue to launch. After that. You would be brought to this page from where you can choose to launch the newly created virtual machine from the, either the EC2 management console or from this website. So what I am going to do is that I am going to change it from website to EC2 management console and then click on launch. So that is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now from this tab you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a name. So I am going to call mine as PostgreSQL and then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. Scroll down even more and choose the instance type according to your requirements. Scroll down and choose the key pair that would be used to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. So you can create a new key pair by clicking over here or you can choose an already existing key pair. After that, leave the network settings as default and then when you finally satisfied with the settings, simply click on launch instance. And then you would be prompted that an instance of this particular virtual machine has been created. Now to access that, simply click on EC2 over here or you can click on view all instances over here. Now the next step is to connect to the SSH terminal of our newly created virtual machine. So for that, simply right click on your virtual machine and then click on connect. And then from the tab, choose SSH client and then copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a PowerShell. And then simply replace this path for the private key for the path where you have downloaded your private key. And after replacing the path to the private key, simply hit enter and if you are prompted, you need to type in yes and then hit enter once more. So that should allow you to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. Now inside this SSH terminal, the very first step that you want to do is that you want to configure the PostgreSQL and starting off with adding the PostgreSQL user to the sudo users group. So you can simply click the link in the description box to come to this step by step blog post guide on how to set up PostgreSQL and from here you would find this command. So copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. Now you have successfully added the PostgreSQL user to the super users group. Now what you want to do is that you want to also give a password to your PostgreSQL user. So simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. Hit enter and you would be prompted to type in the new password. So type in the new password and you're done. And then you may even want to alter some privileges for the PostgreSQL user. For that simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. And before hitting enter, you need to change this field for password. So type in your password over here and then hit enter. Now that was for configuring the PostgreSQL user. The next step is to actually access the PostgreSQL SQL shell. For that we are going to simply switch from the Ubuntu user to the Postgres user. So type in the command sudo su space hyphen l and then postgres and then finally we type in psql and then hit enter so that is going to log us into the postgres shell now to test out the postgresql we're going to head back to the blog post and we're going to copy these command which are to create a new database named as my test db with a new user named as my test user with this particular password and paste these lines in the ssh terminal and then hit enter now as you can see that we were able to create a database, create a role and access was granted on our user. So we can conclude that everything is working fine. Now the next step is actually to allow remote connections to our Postgres server. So for that, simply head back to the blog post and copy this command for the configuration file of Postgres SQL. But before pasting it inside the SSH terminal, you need to quit from the Postgres shell. So for that, simply type in backslash Q and then hit enter. After that, you are going to paste in the command and then hit enter to open up the configuration file and type in the password for the Postgres user. Now in this file, you are going to scroll down to listen addresses. 
Now, as you can see, this line listen addresses is commented out. So you're going to uncomment this line. And if you want to listen to specific IP addresses, then you're going to type in that IP address over here. But if you want to listen to all of the IP addresses, then you can simply put an asterisk symbol over here and then control O, hit enter, control X to save and exit from the file. Lastly, what we want to do is that we also want to allow some host to connect to our Postgres server. So simply head back to the blog post and copy this command. Now this command is going to open up the pg underscore host based authentication configuration file. So paste it inside the SSH terminal, hit enter. You're going to want to paste this line at the end. But if you want to allow only specific subnet host, then you can follow this format. So paste it at the end of the file. Control O hit enter and control X to save and exit from the file. And you're done with the configuration. Now to apply this configuration, what you want to do is that you want to restart the service of PostgreSQL. So type in the command sudo systemctl space restart space PostgreSQL and then hit enter. After that, all of your configurations have been applied. Now the next step is to how to access the PG admin web tool. So we need to first start up the shell script to set up the web admin portal. So simply head back to the blog post and copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. After that, you would be prompted to type in the email address and the password for the PG admin user. So type in an email address, mine is going to be test at test.com and type in the password and then reconfirm the password and then simply type yes for the upcoming prompts. And then you have successfully set up the PG admin web portal. Now to access this portal, simply head back to EC2 management console and then click on instances and then simply click on the name of your virtual machine and then copy this public IPv4 address and paste it inside a new tab and then follow it up with PG admin 4 and then hit enter. So that is going to take you to this login screen for PG admin 4. So type in the email address for your PG admin user and the password as well and then hit enter or click on login. So that is going to allow you to log into the PG admin web tool for PostgreSQL. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for Amazon and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up PostgreSQL. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.